Nathan Sullivan. Now, now all because that has to be kept a surprise version. <laughs> first of all, first of all, we're going to demand that the Bitoch Lumi, the national insurance, which now is paid to Arabs and we subsidize their, their babies, that the national insurance be transferred from the government to the Jewish agency. And at that point, insurance payments paid to Jews only and not to Arabs. That's the case. If you will not accept that, there will be no government. Two, a Jewish youngster in Israel serves three years in the army. Every year in Middle East, on reserve duty, we're, we are now up to 62 days a year. 62 days a year. The Arab youngster laughs at us. He has no army, no Miluim. Laughs at us. Gets married at the age of 70, has a child a year, and a Jewish girlfriend on the side. Another tragedy. I get to hear from such people yelling at, about that. That certainly is against the halacha. I'm waiting for the first Jew, the Orthodox Jew in Knesset, to present some bill banning that. We are going to demand that an end be put to that. A demand. Every Arab, at the age of 18, three years of national service on the roads. And on reserve duty, until we take power, then they're free, because then they're out. <laughs> we, it is our purposes to make life difficult and intolerable for the Arabs so that they will leave themselves before I take power. <laughs> if you will not accept that, there will be no government. Three. Finally, we are going to show in 30 days how who was a Jew could have been amended over the last 20 years. We are going to demand that within 30 days of this next government, who was a Jew be amended to halakha, and if not, there will be no government. And if the other Orthodox parties would have done this years ago, it would have been law years ago. The reason why they don't do it and didn't do it is because they don't want to lose the money for their institution. And that is the reason. And everyone in Israel knows that. And that's why you will see how many of what they call the, the ultra, the ultra ones, uh, will this election vote Kach. For a bill making proselytizing missionaries a felony, a crime, five years in prison. <laughs> if that is not accepted, there will be no government. Five, an automatic death penalty to any terrorist court without any judgment on the part of the Why should a terrorist be afraid today? They aren't afraid. The maximum that they get is life in prison. And they laugh at us. They make a V in the uh, courtroom, and they say, we'll be free in, in uh, two years in, in exchange of prisons. 